That's why personal finance is personal because if you don't know how to do it on a personal level, no matter how much you make in the stock market, maubos siya. And that's true and I've seen it over and over and over and over. So stop trying to hit it big. But instead, what I want to submit to you is start being consistent. Hey guys, so as you all know, we have been talking massively about REITs over the past few days and it's become timely and relevant given today's investing environment where we're seeing a lot of REIT listings happening over the next few weeks and months. And I want to show you in this video is how can you reach 15 million pesos by investing in REITs but before I drill in, before I dive down, and before I share more about that, I want to give you the context of why I'm making this video. It started with this question. Hi, Mr. Hermo. Thank you for all the videos on investing and your computations on how I can save and invest. I want to know, how many years will it take for me to hit 15 million pesos? If I can save 25,000 pesos a month, invest it in a dividend stock, and reinvest the dividends. I'm a silent fan and I've been watching your videos every day. Keep up what you're doing because you're making a difference in the lives, our lives here in Europe. Never stop being optimistic and nice when everyone is so negative. I have been in England but I have only started to invest because of your videos. I'm, I'm excited to see you here soon. Thank you from Maria Tan from London, England. First of all, thank you so much Maria Tan for sending your question i'd like to start with this you have an amazing mindset that's so important you were thinking already how many years would it take for you to get that million and how much you would put in for that investment and that's so important because a lot of people want to put a hundred thousand pesos believing it will be 15 million pesos in a short amount of time people always want to get rich quick and you're not that and that's why i already know you're gonna go very very far and you're gonna do very very well because at the end of the day when it comes to investing the stock market is one of the best ways for you to make your money grow the stock market is a great avenue it's a great tool it's a great asset class but if you don't have the right mindset and you don't have the right plan no matter what the asset class is no matter what uh, opportunities are there if you don't have the right strategy and plan for it you're gonna lose also and i'll say this maria tanan to people who think the same like Maria Tan, you're going to go very, very far because it's never about get rich quick. So for this video, I want to talk about three things. Say three things. Comment below three things. The three things are the jackpot. Is it possible to get 15 million pesos by a jackpot? Number two, can REITs be compounding since we're talking about REITs? Number three, can you really hit 15 million pesos by not hitting jackpot trades is it possible just by using REITs so I know in her question she was asking about purely dividend investing but I, I think it's so practical also to connect it to REITs because I've been hammering it that REITs can give you dividends and I'm a fan of dividends I'm a fan of passive income for life I'm a fan of getting cash flow I'm a fan of using what I get from cash in order for me to be able to fund the way I live you don't use capital appreciation you use cash flow from dividends and that's what we're going to talk about. Please remember, this channel is never about jackpots. This channel is never about, Paano yumaman kagad? How to do it quick? How to get this uh, 7 million, 1 million pesos in just a few days? We don't do that here. Here, we love the process. Here, we try to build the skill. Here, we try to uplift you so that you can do it yourself. You don't need me for you to be able to make the right decision. I'm just here to point you and give you enough information so you can make the right decision. Now, before we begin, to everyone watching this, feel free to send me questions. Put it in the comment section. Or you think if your questions are too personal, feel free to slide into the DM via Instagram. Parang awa nyo na, wala nang follow sa akin sa Instagram. I don't get to reply to a lot of the messages there because there's just too much. So I get notified when I get comments via YouTube and it pops up. So I get to reply to that and I get to see that. And because Instagram doesn't have enough following, mas reply ako doon. But there, the best questions normally I'll try to feature and answer in the podcast. So Maria Tan, and for those also asking and wanting to know how you can get 15 million pesos, one five, not 50, but 15 million pesos, this video is 
for you. And by the way, my name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor. been investing in the market for over a decade now. And if you're new to this channel, appreciate it. If you could subscribe, smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing. Because one goal, one heart, one narrative, we just want more and more people with the right foundation on how they can invest and how they can trade and how they can use whatever insights that are there in investing to win. So number one, the jackpot. I want to say this. Stop it. Stop trying to have that jackpot mentality that there will be one trade that will make you rich forever. Stop having this jackpot mentality that kung makatama lang ako, magwa 100% to, magpa 500% to, magpa 10x to. Don't look at it that way. Don't get me wrong. You can make that money in the market. But a jackpot is just a byproduct of how you prepared. A jackpot is just a byproduct of you having the right skill, having the right experience, having the right acumen, having the right capital at the right opportunity at the right time. But you don't search for jackpots. People always think a Jackpots happen by chance. No, it doesn't. It's years of tireless dedication, working hard, grinding, hustling, doing things in the background that people don't see. Because I'll tell you this, people who make money from jackpots, they don't keep it. You look at athletes that made a lot of money quickly but did not know how to handle it. Nawala kagad. Athletes, celebrities, lotto winners, stock market winners. It happens, eh. So, personal finance is personal because if you don't know how to do it on a personal level, no matter how much you make in the stock market, it's siya. And that's true, and I've seen it over and over and over and over. So, stop trying to hit it big. But instead, what I want to submit to you is start being consistent. Small wins done repeatedly over a period of time will also become big, eh. Everyone wants to do it quick. If it's not working on the first three months or the first six months, when it's not get working, they're not getting the results. They try to escape. They try to quit. They try to stop. But it's not like that. It doesn't work that way. It's not how it is. You have to deploy the time to build the skill. You have to deploy the time for you to get better. You have to deploy the time and the experience for you to be able to grow and allow yourself to build that strategy. Because when that is happening, your experience grows, your emo emotional fortitude grows, and then you become better at it. What's so important about investing in the market is volume. The larger amount of money that you put is ma much, much better than the larger amount of gains that you get. What do I mean by that? I would rather have 10 million pesos earning 20% than have 100,000 pesos earn 100%. Because it's all about volume done properly. Why? Because if you have 100,000 earning 100%, guess what? You can't be consistent with having 100% all the time. There will be months, years that it will be lower than that. There might be months that it might be even negative. But the larger your amount of money, the smaller the amount of gain, you still get a large amount of money. So please remember this. Don't focus on getting a jackpot. Focus on building the consistency so that you build volume. And as you start building volume, that's when it becomes interesting. That's when it becomes fun. People always quote Warren Buffett as the greatest investor of all time, but here's what they don't see. By the time he was 56 to where he is right now, a large chunk of his wealth happened when he was 56 plus, 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 plus years old already. What, what does that mean? From age 0 to 56, he was patient. He was patient. The greatest investor of all time was patient. If he's patient, you have to be too. Because you're not competing against anyone. You're not competing against the other traders out there. You're just competing against yourself. Volume beats trying to get the bottom and the peak all the time. So stop trying to hit the jackpot. That's number one. I hope you're learning. I hope you're getting this. I hope this is something that's helping you. If this is something that's helping you, comment, I'm learning. Comment, I'm getting this. Number two, can REITs be actually compounding? Let me give you a definition first of, of the entire premise of this. She mentioned that she had 25,000 pesos that she would like to put every month and she would like to know how long would it take before it reaches 15 million pesos. So the context under compounding and the premise is if she places 25,000 pesos a month, which is 300,000 pesos per year, invest it, never touch it, and keep 
putting in money and reinvesting the earnings. That's what compounding is. It's not this magical computation, but compounding is never about where you put it, but it's more of the principle, the skill, the discipline involved to invest and to stay invested and to keep on investing no matter what happens. Good economy, bad economy, you stick, you follow to your plan. And since we've been talking about REITs, I just want to make an assumption that we will invest in a REIT that will give you a net dividend yield of 5%. I repeat, a net dividend yield of 5%. Just to clarify, since we have two REITs coming into the market, the Ayala REIT and Double Dragons Meridian Park REIT, I'm not saying that they're going to give you 5%. But I'm just giving this as a template that if you invested in a REIT that's giving you a net of 5%, this is what you will get. And just to put everything properly into context, 5% is achievable. There are common stocks in the Philippine stock market that if you buy them properly when the, those stocks are down, it would give you, it could give you, and it has shown that it could give you more than 5% yield. So it's possible to get 5% dividend yield consistently. Now, if it's not consistent, this stock is not consistent, you can easily sell it and transfer it to something that will give you 5%. So there, but as you all know, dividend yields are highly affected also by income. And since we are in a new normal, we are in a new economy, there are things that are so different right now. If income is not so good, rentals are not so good, it could greatly affect also the dividend yield. But for this video, I want to lay a framework for certain assumptions. Number one, she will continue to put in money. As she placed that money, th that money that's invested, she would never take it out. Then another assumption is that as it earns, Whatever is earned, she would not take it, she would not spend it, but she would reinvest it. And then the dividend yield would stay flat over 5% for a stretch period of time. Before I show you part 3 and the actual computations, I just want to say this. Compounding is not merely about timing. That there's a tipping point two-thirds along the way where you see the money shift drastically upward because you are having massive volume already. And I'll say it over and over. The key to wealth is to have massive volume. Investing is all about volume. Investing is about multiplying what you have. Because if you have 100,000 versus you have 10 million, multiplying 10 million is much, much better than multiplying 100,000. But please don't get me wrong. 100,000 is amazing. If you have 100,000 right now, go for it. Be faithful with that. Start with that. But do not despise small beginnings kasi lalaki rin naman yun eh. Huwag mo madaliin kasi lalaki rin naman yun. It will still come to a point that the 100,000 that you have placed in will still increase, will still go up, will still get better, will still continue to proceed to where it's going. And that's what I want to submit to all of you. That when it comes to compounding, you don't have to rush. As your money starts to earn and as those earnings start to earn and earn and earn and earn, your volume gets bigger, better, stronger, and as it gets bigger, better, stronger, you suddenly get a larger stockpile of money for you. So it's all about volumes. So before I show you the computations, are you guys ready? Comment below if you're ready. Comment below if you're excited. Comment below if you want to learn more about this. Part 3. Can you really hit 15 million pesos via REITs by not hitting those jackpot trades? So I showed you the context for compounding. Now, here's everything listed down 25,000 pesos a month is 300,000 pesos a year we have made an assumption that 5% rate of growth per year for that investment now there's so many tools for you to be able to compute that but the whole context of this is what I've mentioned you invest that 300,000 pesos then you put 300,000 every year and then as, as it starts to earn whatever you earn you reinvest it back again if you did that total number of years for you to hit 15 million pesos would be 25 years. So it means that by just putting 25,000 pesos a month, do that, invest that, don't take the money out, reinvest it, keep on putting money, don't take it out. It will take you 25 years, which is not bad. If you are 20 years old, by the time you hit 45, you already have 15 million pesos at 45 years old. If you are 30, by the time you hit 55, you have 15 million pesos. If you are 40, by the time you hit 65, you have 15 million pesos. And please remember this. I just wanted to reiterate, this is at 5%. This is not you taking a large amount of risk. 5%, in my opinion, is something that you can still consider to be somewhat on the more conservative side. It's not ultra conservative, but it's not at the point where you're taking a lot of risk. This is something that's sustainable and you will still get your 
15 million pesos. Just to put it into context, as you all know, the one who asked this question is Maria Tan from London, England. Putting in 25,000 pesos is roughly 500 US dollars. So I really believe, especially if you are an OFW, you are someone working overseas and you have this disposable income and you are in the prime of your years, do it. Put more on investing. Now, I have two bonus scenarios. Comment below if you want to hear the bonus scenarios. Comment below if you want more. You want more of this. You want to learn more. Please remember, investing is not just about putting in money. It's all about the discipline that you stay invested, you reinvest. But what if, going under the lines of what I mentioned, that it's all about volume? Meaning, what if you increase your contribution per month on the next years? First year, 25,000 but you, you make a decision that next year I'll increase it instead of 25 I'll add to 5 so 27,500 on the next year then on the next year I'll make another decision also instead of 27,500 that to five it will be 30,000 pesos already the whole context of me saying that is you can be promoted eh? you can get bonuses you can get increases or you get pirated that you that will wear at a higher pay a lot of people think when they get promoted they get more money they always think about what they want to spend but since you have a goal to get 15 million pesos then you have to also make the sacrifice you also have to make the things that are needed to be done for you to be able to hit it if you stayed the course followed your plan you will still hit 15 million pesos it will just take 25 years but remember what i said that it's all about volume what if you increase it to 2,500 a month, 30,000 pesos per year, how long will it be? Doing the math, doing the computations, you see it here, it will take you around 18 years. So suddenly, you did it in three-fourths of the time just by adding 2,500 pesos. And if you notice it, minsan lumalabas tayo, we go out, we eat on a weekend, we spend more than 25 already on whatever you're doing or if you go to a department store and you start to buy or na, na pa shopee or lazada kayo you will spend around that amount or you will probably spend more than that and that's just on a weekend so why not instead of paying for something that you already have a lot of it why not instead fund your future first part of that also i mentioned that if you did it you will hit 15 million pesos by year 18 and it becomes shorter and faster you do it in three-fourths of the time but if you stay up until the whole 25 years instead of getting 15 million pesos i want you to get this you're gonna get 29 million pesos 29 million pesos you will almost double what you will get just by staying the course i repeat you will almost double what you will get just by staying the course staying invested putting in your money and letting it grow for you Last bonus scenario. Comment if you're still here. You want the bonus scenario. You want more. You want more of this deep dive. And if you if you look at what we're discussing here, I just want to say this also. This is not sexy. This is not something that... Lagay mo pera mo, yayaman ka kagad. Magiging mayaman power. Hindi need wala tayong ganun dito. We don't do that here. Most of the times, what will make you rich are things that are boring. Are things that are not sexy. Are things that what people think as slow. But here's the thing, if you love the process, you will get there. If you love the process, you build the skill, you build the experience, you build the acumen, you will not just get there, but because you get so good at it, you will get it there also faster. Best way for you to get there faster is not by not taking any shortcuts at all. Third bonus scenario is this. Every year, you increase it by 2-5, 30,000 pesos a year, but by the time you hit your fifth year, you're not going to increase it by 2.5. You're going to increase it by 5,000 a month. Meaning, that year, dadagdag mo 60,000 pesos. I think it's doable because your income dapat from five, from here to 5 years, dapat may significant shift din dapat doon. Then on the 10th year, instead of just adding 2.5, you're going to add 10,000 pesos, putting it in to 120,000 pesos per year. I repeat, first 5 years, 30,000 pesos a year. Then year 6, to 10, instead of 2.5, you're gonna make an additional 5,000 pesos or 60,000 pesos a year. Then on year 10, to whatever year you want, it's 10,000 pesos, making it 120,000 pesos a year. Now, how long will it take before you hit 15 million pesos? The answer to that is 15 plus years. 
it just takes 15 something, not more than 16, di na abot ng 16 years yun. On your 15th year, you will hit 15 million pesos. But here's the thing. Are you willing to wait 15 years? People don't wait it. What's so surprising is people want the price, but they don't want the price in order to get the price. And sometimes the price that you need to pay for you to get the price is you just need to wait. You just need to be disciplined. And for some, you're in your sixth month, you're on your second year, you're on your f first quarter of investing, and then naiinip kayo, the results are not coming, and then you blame uh, mali yata tong stock market or this is this is something that's not good it's all manipulation but it's not that eh. the best way for you to become financially free is to stop blaming other people take responsibility and realize that you have full control of where you want to go and how you want to be in your finances and I'll just end it with this if you stayed up until 25 years you would have gotten 48 million pesos 5% rate of return Nothing fancy, no leverage, no uh, nothing exciting, just you plainly putting in money, double downing on it, increasing it, not taking out the returns, reinvesting everything, and you get 48 million pesos. So please remember, there's a significant difference by putting in money and not increasing what you're putting. Because if you increase it, there's a significant push there's a significant difference it's for 15 million to 48 million pesos with the same uh, duration so the fastest way for you to get rich is to do it slow is it possible via REITs I've shown you here given that the REIT that you will get is 5% net it's possible 15 years 25 years 18 years and 15 plus years to conclude you can hit 15 million pesos by being consistent and disciplined. 5% is not a lot of risk and you can be a millionaire without being a jackpot-oriented person. But really, all you have to be is consistent. If you notice my bonus example, bonus scenario, where you added 2,500 pesos a month. So the difference if you stayed for 18 years versus 25 years, it would have been 14 million pesos. Meaning, instead of just getting 15 million, you would have gotten 29 million if you waited seven extra years. And that's how powerful it is. That's how powerful volume is. In the same way, bonus scenario number three, the difference is 36 million pesos. If you stayed up until the 15-year mark, you would have gotten 15 million pesos. But if you stayed 10 years more, you would have gotten 48 million pesos. And that's a large difference. That's a large amount of money. Think about it. You would have gotten from 15 million pesos, you would have got 25, 35, 45, or almost around 33 million. That's a lot of money. It just shows you one thing. Making money, financial freedom, wealth, it's never about the jackpot. It's never about just making winning trades. It's never just about that. It's always about time, and it's always about volume. But these are things that's not talked about. And the reason why I'm bringing you back to videos like this, because this is so important, that this is so needful, that the highest you will go is how you build your foundation, that the highest you will go financially is how you build the right foundation in your finances. Because if you don't build it right, no, you will not go very, very high. Building will only go as high as what the foundation is, as what the structure is. If the foundation and the structure is not good enough, you won't go very, very high. And I hope you get this, that it's possible for you to reach 15 million pesos by investing in REITs with the assumption of getting 5% dividend yield net. I hope that after all of this also, you stop thinking about getting the big score and you start focusing on being consistent and disciplined. Because really, if you're not faithful with small amounts of money, having more and more money will just destroy you. It's all about being faithful with what you have right here, right now. Because if you're faithful with little, guess what? You will be faithful with much. If you know how to handle 100,000 pesos, you will know how to handle 500,000 pesos. If you know how to handle 500,000 pesos, you will know how to handle a million, 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 40 million, 100 million. That more money won't destroy you. But if you don't know how to handle 50,000 pesos, having a million more won't help. Because money is not something that makes you better. It's just something that amplifies who you really are. That if you know how to function with a small amount, you will know how to function with a large amount of money.
I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope you guys stayed until the end. Comment below if you stayed until the end. Comment below if you're learning as well and this is something that's helping you, adding value to you. By the way, if you liked any of this, super appreciate it. If you could like the video, share the video. And if you'd like to learn more about investing in the stock market, I have five books. They're all available via Shopee. The link is in the description below. I also have online courses. One is a Tagalog stock market basic course with Chinkitan. It's called Stock Market for Everyone. Then I have another one with Business Entrepreneurship Investing and the Stock Market with Sean C. It's also in the description below. Then I also have playlists in YouTube, different topics, IPO, REITs, invest in etc and if you want to see the other read videos i have links of it in the description uh, everything else that you'd like to know gear how to invest in the stock market how to invest in u.s stocks brokerages they're also in the description below and i hope that this is something that added so much value to you i hope that this is something that helped you to make the right decisions on your investing because again that's all i want so i keep doing videos like this over and over and over and over so you make the right decision with your money because again it's your money, it's your responsibility, and no one will take good care of your money more than you. And it has to be you. So that's it for now. Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you. Trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.